H.P. Lovecraft sat nervously behind his drum set, staring down at the sticks in his hands. He had always been drawn to the chaotic rhythms of metal music, but had never dared attempt to play it himself. But today was different. Today he was determined to learn the most intense and powerful technique of them all, glass beads. He began tentatively, slowly tapping out a beat on the snare drum. It was a simple rhythm, but it felt wrong to him. It lacked the energy and intensity he craved. He knew he needed to push himself further. He took a deep breath and began to play, his arms a blur as he pounded out a relentless barrage of beats. The sound was deafening, filling the room with a cacophony of noise. As he played, he felt something inside him shift. It was as if a door had opened, revealing a world of darkness and chaos that he had only ever glimpsed before. He was tapping into a primal force, a power that he had never known existed. For hours he played, lost in the frenzied rhythms. Sweat poured down his face and his muscles ached, but he refused to stop. He was determined to master this technique, to push himself to the limits of what was possible. And finally he felt it. A surge of energy, a feeling of power that he had never known before. He was no longer H.P. Lovecraft, the writer of cosmic horror. He was something else entirely, something darker and more primal. He was a master of the blast beats. But with this newfound power came a sense of danger. Lovecraft knew that he was treading a fine line between creativity and madness. He had always been fascinated by the darker aspects of the human psyche, but now he was delving even deeper into the abyss. 